his small base, and I think they're a minority, who believe if the Nazis and the protesters are on both sides, there are good people on both sides, his small base is not going to run this country. They don't now, and they never will. Fresh out of the crypt, Sam Donaldson, who is former anchor over at ABC News, went on CNN with Helter Stelter to trash Trump supporters as un-American, white, Christian, and of course, willfully ignorant of the facts. He's labeled a legendary journalist by Stelter, but Donaldson has a long history of being a Democrat shill, and he doesn't deviate a bit from that in this interview. Like most leftists in the media, he sees everything outside of his bubble as monstrous and and evil while giving his side a pass on the very standards that he's holding his rivals to. And legendary journalist Sam Donaldson, who was ABC's main Watergate correspondent. Well, it's the, about the same thing in the sense that the press's job is to point out what people say accurately, but if they say things that are not true and the press knows they're not true, not because of our opinions, but because we have facts, Okay, real quick, I just want to point out what he just said there. He said, quote, The press's job is to point out what people say accurately. But if they say things that are not true and the press knows they're not true, not because of our own opinions, but because we have facts. Well, it's the, about the same thing in the sense that the press's job is to point out what people say accurately. To point out what people say accurately. His small base, and I think they're a minority, who believe if the Nazis and the protesters are on both sides, there are good people on both sides. These two are basically just actors playing the part of just the facts journalist because neither actually practice those principles. You listen to Donaldson's soaring rhetoric about the duty and high honor of the press, but then three minutes later, he's perpetuating a lie based on a manipulated quote. I've covered this particular media lie on several occasions, and I recommend just watching those videos, but needless to say, what Sam Donaldson just said here isn't based on the facts. Neither was ABC News when they produced war propaganda that was meant to emotionally manipulate their viewers using a well-known video of Knob Creek's annual night shoot-off. And claim it was Turkey bombing Syrian villages because of Trump weeks since President Trump ordered U.S. forces out of that region, effectively abandoning America's allies in the fight against ISIS. This video right here appearing to show Turkey's military bombing Kurd civilians in a Syrian border town. Oh, but when they do it, it was just an accident. There's always been this strain of American life, but they don't represent the country. If Mr. Trump has, what, 30, 31 percent of a strong base, we don't know exactly, but that's not the country. The other 70 percent are out there. According to Eyebrows McGee here, apparently only around 31% of the country support Trump and they don't represent the country apparently, while 70% are against Trump and do represent the country. According to the 538 polling tracker, Trump is sitting around 41 to 42% right now and while that's not great, it's certainly not bad consider the pounding he's taking right now and has since he was elected. Who even knows how accurate this polling is as Trump has defied polling in the past? It's simply not fair or accurate to say 70% of the country is against Trump, but I guess if you watch nothing but DNC propaganda all the time, it probably seems that way. If the Democrats were getting anywhere near those numbers at their rallies, we all know the media would be constantly touting it. Harry Truman had it right. He had advice for all sorts of public officials. Remember this, he said, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> It sometimes is that simple, isn't it? For any president, for any well, politician. The problem isn't the media holding public officials to account. They should obviously do that. The problem is the biased manner in which they go about doing that. Sure, Democrats get caught up in corruption and the media reports on that, but how they go about reporting on it is different. When a Republican is caught up in a scandal, it's amplified and they use it to attack the entire party, while Democrat scandals are always muted and quickly fade from the news cycle. In many cases, the media won't even mention party affiliation when a Democrat is getting negative attention. It happens so often that it spawned the phrase, name that party, within media watchdog circles. So no, tough coverage of politicians isn't the problem, but rather the blatant bias in the application of those standards. 
We'll get right back to this media meltdown, but first let me just take a quick moment to thank this video's sponsor, RibT.com. Guys, I know that we all need to constantly replace our t-shirts and underwear because we buy them cheap, in bulk, and at department stores. I'm here today to implore you to consider stepping up to a higher quality, immensely more comfortable choice. Not only are they American made, but RibT is a company that values free speech and YouTubers like yours truly. If you need new t-shirts and underwear, and I think we all know that you do, treat yourself and try something that will not only feel amazing and improve your mood, but will also outlast anything that you bought from a department store. Head on over to ribtcom forward slash drone tech and make sure that you use the promo code drone tech to get 20% off most items. If you would like me to give your channel or your website a shout out, simply make a purchase at ribtcom forward slash drone tech and send me the proof of purchase. Thank you. The president seems to believe that if he wants to do something, it should be done. Constitution aside, even Congress aside, it doesn't work that way, and he's not going to get away with it. What exactly is Donaldson talking about here? What has Trump done to go against the Constitution? What has Trump done to go around Congress? That's another tactic that the media has employed since Trump was elected. They speak in these grand yet vague generalities. Like he's constantly breaking the law and going against the Constitution or lying 10,000 times. And in regards to going against Congress, when Obama attacked Libya, he did it without congressional approval and there was very little fuss from the media. They did cover it, but it was very low intensity and never became a big controversy. I looked for any words of concern or outrage from Sam Donaldson when that transpired and found nothing. His small base is not going to run this country. They don't now, and they never will. Someone should remind this confused man that Trump did win the election and is running the country. His caricature of Trump supporters is a product of political hatred and propaganda. We're not all Christians, I'm not, and not all Trump supporters are white. Not everybody who supports Trump even likes Trump, but they distrust the increasingly far left Democrats and their media even more. It appears they haven't learned anything and will continue spewing condescension and arrogance to their own detriment. Even if they happen to take Trump down, you're still going to have half the country that's growing increasingly divergent from the other half. That's not a good harbinger for the future of this country, and the mass media has a lot of blame in that. That's all I have for you today. Sorry to end on such a depressing note, but you can't fix these problems by sugarcoating it. Make sure to check out my live stream from the CNN Democrat debates tonight, starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. You can also send me a donation on PayPal, and I appreciate it. Without my supporters, it would be a lot harder to continue this mission. Thanks to all of you.